GNAC Top Plays begins in Bellingham, where number two ranked Western Washington Volleyball hosts an in-state rival Central Washington. And the Vikings left nothing to chance. Gabby Gunterman led the way with 14 kills and 13 digs. Freshman Phenon, Callie Heilborn, put down 10 kills, 13 digs, and 4 blocks. And GNAC preseason player of the year, Kaylee Harper, added 9 kills and 4 blocks. The Vikings hit 321 in a 3-set sweep of the Wildcats. To Minot, North Dakota, and watch the buildup from start to finish for Montana State Billings. At midfield, Alexa Yakalucci feeds the ball to Haley Gunter, who beats one defender and launches the one-timer into the net. The Yellow Jackets earned their first win of the season with a 2-0 shutout of Minot State. We stay in North Dakota, but fast forward to Monday in the Yellow Jacket men at Mary. 21st minute, and Taylor Lamar makes it look easy, threading the needle off the pass from Andres Perez to give MSUB a 1-0 lead. Three minutes later, watch the long cross-field feed from Yanis Aka to Ignacio Crespo, who feeds it into the goal. Yellow Jackets roll 3-1 over the Marauders. St. Martin's men hosting Lubbock Christian. Off the corner kick from Oscar Aguilar and Jason Fairhurst is there for the header and the goal. The Saints off to the hot 5-1-1 start and a 3-1 win over the Chaparrales. Seattle Pacific women in overtime at Point Loma and Claire Nieder is golden for the Falcons. The initial shot by Sophia Chilzik ricochets off the post and Nieder cleans it up and puts it in. The Falcons leave San Diego as 2-1 winners. It was the Jake Levine show in the Bay Area as Northwest Nazarene played at Dominican. 39th minute, feed down the far side, Levine pokes it in from the corner of the box. To the 61st, Skyler Munro with the chip to Levine, who pulls the keeper out and bounces it home. Nighthawks, 2 0 winners over the Penguins. Western Oregon starting strong under new head coach Casey Bingham. Against Hawaii Pacific, the long pass downfield is perfectly placed to Isabel Creighton, who knocks it home for the game winner. The Wolves win 1 0 over the Sharks. Two days later, Wolves hosting Cal State Dominguez Hills. Off the corner kick, Caitlin Poe to the almost 90 degree turn on the ball to make the set piece a winner. It gives the Wolves a 1 0 lead in the 51st. To overtime, with the match tied 2 2, Creighton with the through ball into the box, and there is Celine Conan for the game winner. A 3-2-1 start for Western Oregon after the 3-2 win over the Toros. Simon Fraser men's soccer at Hawaii Pacific. 76th minute, William Raphael with the far side runner to Mateo Polisi. He goes short range for the goal. The clan closes conference play with a 2-0 win over the Sharks. It was the Liv Larson show as Western Washington hosted Texas women's in Bellingham. In the 28th minute, Carly White with the long run, the shot, and the save and Liv is there to rebound it back in for the 1-0 lead. To the 53rd, as Tara Leventi with a nice crossing pass to the middle of the box, and Larson keeps her feet long enough for the touch to pay dirt. Larson scores both in the 2-0 shutout of the Pioneers. Concordia Bid hosting Lubbock Christian, and look at the nice centering pass from Klaus Hualiba to Brendan Long, who feeds past the challenging keeper into the goal. That's all the Cavaliers needed for the 1-0 shutout of the Chaparrales. Concordia women hosting Cal State Dominguez Hills. Less than two minutes into the contest, great ball movement by Madison Grandy and Haley Lemons to open things up for Kyler Radcliffe, who nets the opening goal of the match. This and an own goal by the Toros secure the 2-1 win for the Cavaliers. Simon Fraser football with its home opener in South Dakota Mines at Swan Guard. Howard Sabura on the call. Getting pressured. Oh, and they're, oh, are you kidding me? Wow. Matt, Matt Duda keeps his feet inbounds, bats it to a teammate, Nick. What a play by the clan. Matt Duda, like he was saving a basketball inbounds. To the end of the second, and Brandon Nixish is on the money for the 30-yard touchdown pass to Rice and John, just as time expires. It's not enough, though, as the clan falls 26-7 to the Hard Rockers. Finally on GDAC top plays, Let's have a golf clap for the hot start to the season for Western Washington's Ethan Casto. Playing on his home course Monday and Tuesday, Casto carded rounds of 69, 67, and 70 to tie for first after three rounds at the Western Washington Invitational. In a playoff with Simon Fraser's Isaac Lee, Casto won on the second hole to claim his first individual title of the season. That's it for GDAC Top Plays. I'm Blake Tim. We'll see you next time.